Hey, I'm Jason Kravitz from Lords of the Playground here at Dad 2.0 2016, the DC version. And uh, here we are with John Kinnear. John Kinnear from Ask Dad Blog. Ask Your Dad Blog. Ask Your Dad Blog. And that's uh, your, your handle is Ask Dad Blog on the Twitter. Correct. But it's Ask Your Dad Blog. And uh, also, tonight, um, host of the first it is dad slam dad slam dad slam 2016 yes passion project of mine i've been asking doug for like three years to let me do it well so. tell me about it what is it what is a dad slam is this like a wrestling yes. match are we, we going to be uh, cage matching we're going to have a small inflatable pool oh, don't even <laughs> no it's uh so it's kind of inspired by you know storytelling festivals and the moth and, and places where people can get up on stage and tell a live story and, and you hear your voice. Uh, so many of us know each other online and so many of us read each other's blogs mm -hmm. and I think it's a completely different experience to hear someone read their own words and uh, for the past few years my favorite part of this conference is always the spotlight and I, I kept telling that I was like we should do 15 of them. Let's, let's just make it all people reading their blog. Like I just want to hear people's words and so I asked them, can we do an open mic? Can we have guys just bring their posts, their favorite yeah. posts that they've written and read it in front of the group and be able to get that one, the interaction with an audience? A lot of people haven't experienced That's that. That's true. I mean, uh, yeah, I just realized that a lot of people are writing and they edit and they get to look at it, but they don't, you're not used to talking in front of a whole group of people. This will be really interesting. For yeah, it, it, it might be insanely awkward. Who knows? <laughs> I don't think so. I think dads will support each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? And be excited to hear each other, especially because they're probably the next ones reading. Yeah. Um, and uh, how long does everybody get? Is it like a time limit? Is it a minute, two minutes? Or? So it, it's a post. Um, I, we haven't set a specific time limit. But what we're going to do, everybody shows up. It, I mean, if we have three of us, there's going to be three of us hanging out and reading our posts over and over again. But if we have a bunch of us, I'm going to have a, a place for you to submit your name when you come in. Right. And we'll just draw names out of a hat and we'll just keep going. We'll pr try and keep everybody under, you know, three to, under three minutes maybe. Um, most posts aren't more than six, eight hundred words, so right, we'll probably right. roll through them pretty quick. Do you have a favorite uh, story of yours that you would tell, or that other people have written that you'd like uh, that that you like that you would uh, give me an example of a good dad story, like a short version of dad? Yeah, story. so I, I'm gonna kick it off just so everybody will uh, kind of see how it's gonna work, yeah. and, and I'm gonna read a piece of mine, and I, I haven't quite decided, but I think the one I'm gonna do. So I wrote a post about being stuck in traffic trying to get home to my kids. Um, uh, it was a really rough day at work. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't that I knew I was going home to the loving, embracing arms of my kids. My one kid was in trouble, and I knew that I had to go home and, 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 and be the, the mean dad. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, there. and having to think about that while I was stuck in traffic for two hours <laughs> and working through that. And it's one of my favorite posts, and it's one of the ones that, you know, it's not like... Ten great things I do as a day. It's a, it's not a listicle that does really well. It's right. one of those posts that kind of got buried that I feel has a little bit more heart in it, and so I'm excited to share that type. I have a story that has an arc with a, and, a, and a message. My my personal very brief uh, recent story. My son is now 14 years mm -hmm. old, and uh, we had a conversation uh, the other day that went like this. Dad, can you help me uh, with my covers? Yeah, sure. Let me just tuck you in. Can we do it without the weird commentary? <laughs> and that was the end of the story. Not a lot of heart in it, but there's, um, you know. I like it. There's a lesson. Watch out for your teenagers, I think. Is the Will you lesson. bring that one tonight? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> and six more like it, and they'll still be under a minute. <laughs> well, John, I'm looking forward to this, man. Anything you want to say about Ask Your Dad blog while we got you? Uh, you know, I... It's been a lot of fun. I've been writing it now for... What is exactly Ask Your Dad Blog? Is it just your personal experiences? It is. So it is not an advice blog. It's the, the <laughs> title would the seem name. to uh, indicate that. I, I should have thought about that more. It was inspired by Calvin and Hobbes. Remember, the, the, there was a series in Calvin and Hobbes where Calvin would go to his dad. Oh, yeah. And he would ask his dad a question. And I remember one specific one. He's like, why is the sun come up and down? And his dad answered, air pressure. <laughs> and it just reminded me, when I very first became a dad, it was like, I didn't know any more than I knew the day before I became a dad. Right. But now it was my job to have the answer. Like, you have to have the answer. feel answers. like you have to have the answer. Um, and so sometimes you just, you're just flying by the seat of your pants. So it was always just like, I, that's how I felt from the very beginning. And I still feel now, because I don't have the answers, but I'm, I've am i got to find them. Because yeah. I've got people who are dependent on me. So, yeah, it's been a really fun time. The blog uh, started out with a giant, uh, it had a couple posts go really big and yeah. found a good audience. And now that's I just great. have a, a, a really cool community of people around the blog that I enjoy interacting with a lot. Well, we're looking forward to the Dad Slam tonight. Yes. The 
first official night since the kickoff of Dad 2.0, not, not counting the pre, uh, pre-Dad 2.0 uh, party last night. Yeah. But, uh, Thank you so much for being here, John, and we're looking forward to the slam tonight. Uh, at what, where can people find you on Twitter? It's Ask Dad Blog. At Ask Dad Blog, and your blog is Ask Your Dad. Correct. AskYourDadBlog.com. AskYourDadBlog.com. And uh, we have to, of course, get you to sign the Esquire sign Absolutely. at the Esquire Live Lounge, and uh, we'll be back uh, shortly with more interesting people like John. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs>